It is a chilly, wet, rainy day here on the homestead. And we're gonna have to bring in all of our pineapples and my bananas that I have on the side of the house here. Our meat ducks are ready to be butchered this weekend and we're gonna get them all done by the end of this week. We are gonna keep three female ducks, three of the hens, so that um, we can add to our, our flock. I'm just gonna give them some leftovers. So it's been super wet and you can see how they're really brown, but they've just been outside getting wet. So by the end of this week, guys, make sure you come back and subscribe to the channel. We'll be doing a very in-depth video on how to butcher meat ducks. And the process is pretty similar for chickens and pretty much any bird. Make sure you come back and see that because these guys are going in the freezer really soon. You have some of my broccoli here coming up. Um, I have just some brassicas here. I do have some also in my main garden over there, but the pests have been crazy. So these guys are all of my pineapples. I'm gonna take them inside. It is chilly today. They'll be down here in the first floor. So it's time to move all of my indoor stuff back inside. All right, this is the last pineapple. I have three pineapples here. Hubby was actually weeding the place with the weed whacker and he accidentally cut off some of these, but they're actually quite nice. I really, really love the progress and how beautiful these are. Like this one here is absolutely beautiful. And these are just grown from the tops of pineapples that I had bought from the grocery store. You literally just pop the tops in some water and they'll put out roots and you plant them and they'll start growing pineapples for you in a couple of seasons. My seasons aren't long enough, but hey, we can try. And even if I don't get pineapples, they're a beautiful indoor plant. And then these are the bananas. I have to bring both of them back in. I actually have this banana is putting out another little banana there. They're constantly putting out new little babies. So these are all of my indoor tropical stuff and they are going in today. So let's take a look at the garden and how everything is doing now that it's fall. It has been an unseasonably chilly fall actually. Um, it's been quite chilly here. The only thing I didn't really get a harvest out of yet is the ground cherries. I do see a lot of ground cherries on here, like this one and a lot of other flowers. But I still haven't had any actual ground cherries off it. I do see a lot of flowers on here though, so we'll see. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll get some actual ground cherries later this fall. We'll see amaranth it's way too big uh, they're just way too tall now and they're I'm actually keeping them over here because they were falling over taking over my patch here with my uh, brassicas but the pests ended up totally killing this cabbage here I still have three and one down there. So I still have four, but the other one is totally gone. Broccoli, still not even able to recover because there's so many pests still getting in here. It's just completely getting eaten by these pests. So. Actually, I have two cabbages. Here is uh, some of the beets that I seeded in here. I have a few of them coming up, but the pests have been really bad this fall. I've been steadily harvesting tomatoes, but most of them are pretty bad nowadays, so 
gonna feed these to the chickens. I see a cucumber under here. <laughs> Here's the cucumber. I'm going to come back and dig up a couple of eggplants and a couple of my peppers and I'm going to bring them inside under my grow light because I have my bananas and some of my tropical plants that I have to keep inside anyway. So I'm going to bring in a few of these guys. The next task for the garden is to take everything down once, probably at the end of September because we're still getting a little bit of food in here. But once September hits, I'm going to take all of this out, cut down the amaranth, take all of the ground cherries out. And then once all of that is all taken down, I'm going to lay down some cardboard all in the garden patch here. And then I'm going to also put some chicken and goat manure on top of the cardboard. And that's what I'm going to do for the winter time and that's going to prep the garden for next year. Next task I have to do here is to move my greenhouse because I'm moving it from this side of the garden, of the yard, and I'm gonna put it over here, platform right there beside all of my containers, and I'm gonna move the greenhouse right there. Oh, I'm gonna move this and put all of the containers in there as well as some of my brassicas that I have in the containers. I'm gonna move all of that into the greenhouse, but I have to move the greenhouse first to the new location. But I need Jesse to be home to help me with that, and right now he's <coughs> working. Maybe today or tomorrow we'll get that done. Down the hill, let the chickens out and see what the goats need for the day. This part of the property looks so different compared to our first year on the farm. Guys, I'm gonna make a video showing what this used to look like compared to what it looks like now. It's night and day, guys.
Isn't this little guy so cute? He looks just like daddy. Dad's over there. These babies have grown so much. They're so cute. <laughs>